He's a pending UFA. He's got a pretty big cap hit at 5.8 million bucks. When you look at Henrique in the market for him, is he a good check down for teams who maybe don't want to give up a first for Monaghan or him and Monaghan closer than maybe I'm thinking? No, him and Monaghan are very close. And that's sort of where the big gap was. You had the premier center on the market. And as mentioned, Lindholm was the number one piece overall on our trade targets board. But then the next check down is clearly Monaghan. Mm -hmm. They're close, but the big differentiator between Monaghan and Henrique is first off, Monaghan is, is, in my opinion, a significantly better defensive player. Adam Henrique doesn't stack up in any defensive metrics that you see. You know, you see Monaghan 13th among all forwards in. Uh, breakups that lead to loose pucks in the defensive zone. Little things like that. They both kill penalties. The Ducks have been toward the bottom of the league in penalty kill, 25th in the league. So Monaghan's played on some better situations, but the biggest differentiator, 5.85 million all the way down to 1.95. That's a huge difference in the sense that it's a lot less gymnastics that you need to do salary cap-wise to fit him in. And so if they're both going for a similar return, which I think they will – the player that I'd pick is Monahan, and I think he's also a better – at this point, it's close, but I think he's a slightly better skater, and that's another differentiator. Like Something like we have insight to this now, NHL Edge with the puck and player tracking. Yeah. Sean Monahan has 171 more 22-mile-an-hour bursts this season than someone like Henrique. Maybe a, a, not a huge thing in the grand scheme of it, but I look at their two games side-by-side, side, watching a ton of video of both, and I say – that's the guy that I would be going after. But the market's going to get really competitive now because Lindholm's off the board. Anyone in the market for a center, this is your guy, and you probably need to act sooner rather than later. What's up, hockey fans? If you enjoyed that video, then you need to be hitting the subscribe button right here at Daily Faceoff. Exclusive interviews and analysis from our hockey insider, Frank Saravalli, fantasy updates from Brock Sagan, and a daily live show at noon Eastern, Monday through Friday. You don't want to miss any of the fantastic content, so hit that subscribe button.